Just for that, let's play video games. Okay, well, this is still the same run that we started as the Count of Anjou, way over here, the 10-year-old Count of Anjou, boop. Um, and we have embiggened our empire a fair bit. We technically have three empire ships underneath us, beneath us. The Empire Britannia, the Empire Germania, and the Empire of Belgium which is the Empire of Francia, but we renamed it uh, for Talals. Uh, we are currently 77 years old. We have reformed the religion. We are no longer, it's not the Catholic religion, it's the chocolate religion. You know, it almost sounds the same. You know, it was a lot easier to sell to people. Also, chocolate is delicious. And we're living in an alternate reality where chocolate was present in Europe in the 11th century. Try not to think about it too, too much. Um, one of the things we want to do with this run, or with this particular life, Pope Cyborg over here, is we're going to try to have as many kids as possible. We did have quite a bit. We have 11 children, although two of them did die uh, annoyingly, I think, when we got, um, we got besieged in one of these things. I still think there needs to be a little bit more of a UI sort of indicator when you're being besieged, especially your capital holding, because it's so important. I don't know. Uh, maybe the outliner could have a siege thing, or we could have an alert over here. I mean, that might get a little too spammy. Or just an area that's used, like, we've got a war indicator that comes up over here. Maybe another set of circles on top that gives you um, shows you the status of every hostile siege, like in little, little circles over here. I bet you someone could mod it. Get to it. I don't play Iron Man. I could do it with a mod like that. That would be really handy. Um... But we still have plenty of kids. We have, uh, I guess, nine living children as is. So shit's going to explode when we die, which is what we were going for. Uh, at the very least, there's going to be three different empires that are going to be a result of this. Um, and then there's going to be numerous sub-kingdoms and things like that that are going to be split up. The goal of the, is, the idea is, we've been talking about this forever, when Pope Cyborg dies here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip into observer mode and fast forward. I'm going to put it on speed five for like five years, or 50 years, sorry, and see what kind of chaos happens, and then we'll pick another character to jump back into. Now, yeah, a little siege alert would be nice. Now, what... Um, what I was going to talk about as another idea that we could incorporate into this, I still, I'm going to do the time skip this time, but what if we do something like going forward, we like randomize which of our possible heirs we're going to play when we die. Again, in this case, we're going to do time skip, it's, it's but imagine something chocolate. like that, right? When we die, we re-roll a die. Where's my, right over here. When we die, we roll a die. So we might not play as the eldest son, or we might always do something like we'll intentionally always play the second child or something like that, right? Because it, that I think will it will um, incentivize, it will it will amplify the idea that what we're playing is is a dynasty, right? Um, it would be interesting, actually, if you, if you some modders want to have a cool idea, imagine if when we die, what it does is it randomly assigns us to another landed character in our dynasty right still within the dynasty because i want to i want to stay in the cat pet right imagine something like that so still within the dynasty someone else in the dynasty who has some land and we sort of do that i think i would prefer it to be younger so you know because ideally i think i would like to have a long lifespan as each character not you know oh we just random into someone who's 85 oh good we get to play for a year or something like that although i mean sometimes it'll happen sometimes you get a young you know that that's kind of idea would be kind of neat I know what some people used to do in Crusader Kings 2, when they would die, uh, they would just random a ruler. Because on in, in CK2, when you know you could save the game, when you load the game, you could pick any ruler in the game. I mean, you still can, but there was always a random button for a ruler. So they would save the game, go back to the main menu, load the game, hit random, and pick someone completely different. But that would mean just anyone in the world. I would like to stay within the same dynasty, because I like the continuity of a dynasty... But all of a sudden, you can't min-max for a particular heir anymore. Instead, you're really playing to better your in, your dynasty as a whole. You know, because it's that whole... Um, there's an interesting thought experiment. Um, if you were to design, you know, uh, the, the political system for your country and the economic system for your country, um, and you were having to design it in such a way that, you know, you were going to... You're going to be reborn, Okay but you had no control over what situation you're going to be born into. You might be born into a rich family. You might be born into a poor family. It means statistically much more likely to be in a poor family. If you have no knowledge of what kind of life you'll be born into, what would be the ideal political and economic and social situation that you would, you would design for yourself? And that would sort of bring that philosophy into Crusader Kings because we'd no longer be just trying to make things as good for our player heir. Instead, we'd be trying to set something up that would be as good 
in general for a dynasty. And I think that would be a lot of fun. You're right. Same dynasty doesn't mean cat pet. I guess I would want it within the same house or something like that. Or, you know, maybe there would be different options. Now, we can do that ourselves, right? When we die, we can look at the dynasty tree. We can pick. To a certain extent, we're going to be doing that here because after we fast forward for 50 years, we don't know what character we're going to be taking over as. So we're going to be in that. But it just occurred to me that we don't have to fast forward to get like I'm trying to fast forward to introduce that sense of chaos. But that sense of chaos can come in a different way without a time skip. Anyway, that is that. We got some more whiskey and chocolate coming in. We're going to pause in just a second. We've got uh, we got Teller who came in five minutes ago. Thank you very much, Teller. To the most exalted of chocolatiers, the Pope, I was wondering about his stance on mousse au chocolat, heavenly or heresy. Oh, I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. Um, I like it. Like a dark, dark chocolate mousse that's like kind of on the bitter side is incredibly good because I think that sort of whipped up kind of mousse thing just causes all the chocolate particles to really kind of melt and hit your taste buds in an intense way. It's it's really good. I don't, I, not too sweet and with a little salt in there. Really fantastic. Warwolf, thank you very much for your very generous donation. Much appreciated. That's going to buy a lot of whiskey and chocolate. Thanks for all the fun and new games you made me buy. Uh, and here I go hammering your budget again. Warwolf, thank you very much for that. And, uh, oh, it's Pancake again. Benacock13. Uh, thank you very much. Games you've made me buy over the years. All the Civs, CK2, EU4, Frostpunk, Democracy 3, Motorsport Manager, and now CK3. Cost me a fortune, but also giving me uh, so much joy. Have some chocolate on me. Thank you very much, uh, Benacook. All right, so we're going to pause. We're not currently in a war. We're swaying, you know, some... Uh, is this not, No, this is just a queen, an evil zealot, just one of our vassals. Um, we are marrying some people together. Good. All right, that's fine. We got two crowns because, of course, we have the temporal crown and the spiritual crown. How are your dynasty points? That's a great question. You know, I would really like it. Um, we've, we've talked about uh, this with Paradox before. It would be really cool if they came up with a sort of, like, Twitch integration for this game where people could, like, you know, take a look at this as, like, sort of an overlay tooltip. We got two levels in blood, a two levels in kin here. Um... I really like the blood stuff. I mean, most people do because there's all the quite cool genetic stuff. But honestly, the, you know, dynasty members get better education traits is really, really it's strong. And, and just fertility means our dynasty is going to embiggen itself uh, substantially. Uh, at this point, I think the plan is mostly to go down blood. But because the costs keep increasing, like, sometimes it's going to be like, well, maybe I don't want to wait the extra for whatever. Especially here. It was it was so much cheap because it's 1,000 and 2,000 over here. It's we got both of these for the cost of getting resilient bloodline. And much cheaper than those. So I think that was a good pickup over there. And I think that's often going to be some of my favorites. But we'll see what we can do. We got more whiskey and chocolate coming in just now. We're still unpaused. Excellent. Uh, we got named moose. <laughs> but what do you think about a nice chocolate moose? Mmm. I like to eat the antlers first. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we lost our court physician. Oh, we're going to have to uh, we're gonna have to pick someone in a second here. And Caleb Cheney, thank you as well. I've worked out why Provence keeps being excommuted in Savory Savoy. They had Anjou, and we know the people from Anjou are crazy, witchy, chocolate heretics. All right. Yeah, I'll buy that. I like it. Um, reset the default. We want to... Um, I guess it have to be people from our court, first of all. In our court, sorted by learning, we don't have anyone particularly impressive. So what we'll do is we will indeed go for the search for a physician. Uh, d uh, decision. We're not going to revoke the Holy Order. We're trying to lose weight, aren't we all? Call for Hunt. I mean, we're not stressed or anything. I think we can probably just leave it there. Lots of issues. Tyler can create it. Oh, we're going to transfer a vassal. That'll make everyone a little bit happier and more tax efficient. Okay. Unpause some more. When the AI takes over, do you think it'll take different paths or save to keep the same path? That's interesting. I actually don't know how the AI will spend its dynasty points. I don't know if it just, you know, tries to spend them as quickly as possible, or I don't know if it tries yeah, to spend them in a tree that has already to be started. It'll be very interesting to see how that goes. We got more whiskey and chocolate. It's Fang again! Ah, uh, yes, the right, the, the, uh, the coven. You're absolutely right. We should take a look at doing a little bit more of that. Thank you for the reminder. In a world full of danger, even to an emperor and his court, if everyone requests, my servants have inquired... Oh, yes, we... Okay, well, let's not get the one who's inbred, scaly, disinherited, deviant... What the heck? You've had an interesting life. Um, the, there's always one that's more expensive, but has more skills. 16 learning, level 3 renowned physician, hunchback. That's fine. Um, doesn't really show. You can't, like, rotate the models or anything, huh? Um, yeah, she likes me enough. She's got, you know, a decent amount of intrigue. This actually might be pretty handy. 
Margo, there we go, who likes me 100 now. You might be useful for some plots and things as we go forward. So that's going to be all right. <laughs> Build something big. Yes, we have a lot of money. How about, and I don't remember if we've done this. How about we start building up the them? When did this get started in real life? Had some hair in there. Um, oh, I need to windmills innovation. Darn it. Okay. Paris is low control, too. Should probably do something about that. Um, Air and Paris are fully built up. I don't know. I guess I could build some random stuff in some of the other places. Uh, hunting ground sounds so. I'm just, I'm, I'm semi going to pick at random. Uh, we'll have a, we'll have a trade port over here. Yeah, if you're on the coast, we should definitely have trade ports. Uh, we'll upgrade your wooden barracks. In there, that we can't build anything. In Tivoli, we will upgrade one of your buildings as well, just because we can spend. I don't, I'm not really looking to start another war. We control every holy site we, we, that exists. We, every single uh, Christian holy site is controlled by chocolatism over here. Uh, that includes Jerusalem. Altering the deal. Um, my er, vassal Earl has, contact, is, has a contract with me that is quite lenient, exempting him from any of the obligations I would typically expect from my vassals. If I could get him to consent to increased obligations, it would benefit the realm long term. Uh, sufficient incentive. So we could spend money and increase feudal taxes. So spend money to keep money later, I guess, is a thing. We could Diplo Challenge. Oh, there you go. We've got a three quarters chance to win this and increase the taxes as is. I mean, no, no, we'll just try to persuade him. That's going to be okay. I'm not concerned about stress. It was a green screen issue, is there? I wonder why that is. Huh. Okay, thank you. I've altered the deal. Pray, I do not alter it further. Um, yeah, that's right. We have unlocked the Barony building tech, haven't we not? No, we have not. Because I don't have the Duchy of Valois. That's what it is. I didn't make it a priority because, of course, our home is in air over here, at least for now. But who knows? Well, what's going to happen is when we die, the realm's going to be split in a bunch of pieces. Um, someone's going to get the Empire of Francia, and they'll probably make their home in Paris. And whether or not they work for the Duchy of Valois will be an interesting question. Uh, yes, seek indulgences. Again, it'd be nice to auto-accept that. That would be okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's more green screening? I don't see it, but I believe you. I'll move the camera a little more. Mm. If I move it anymore, it's gonna it's gonna run out of green screen on the other side. Do 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 do. Indulgences go. Spit will lastly improve your oh, your renown generation. That's true because there'll be more people in the dynasty. Um, with kick-ass titles, and so our renown will grow a lot faster. We got a new perk. Uh, so we were oh, we we're gonna take hair gold for more money. Um, yeah, which seems okay because I mean that'll get inherited by you know other people down the line. Actually, I don't know. Does, does all my money go to my primary heir, or does that get split up? I don't know. Actually, I have a fairly big green screen, um, but it's it's set fairly far back, which means it doesn't cover as much but if i move it closer then there's like shadow issues and stuff what i really need is i sort of need a separate floodlight that just shines on the green screen to keep the lighting on it constant so it doesn't have any sort of shadowing problems but you know i'm just here to play video games oh yeah witchings okay so we're gonna go to the character finder we're gonna reset this uh what we want to do is we want to find people in our dynasty specifically now i don't know if it's dynasty or house if we want to create a coven um, and yeah, we'll do the mini crowns thing, potentially. Um, house members. Now, there's still not a filter for that. They did add some nice things, so now you can say, you know, not of my dynasty or not of my culture, which is new and interesting. Um, can I just search? Yeah, okay, I can search the house up here, which is good. So that'll be something, but there's no, I, you can search for people who are witches, but I don't think there's like a not witch, which is a, a thing we would like to do, uh, which would make things a little bit easier, which would, um, is that under personal? I think it's under personal. Do they have to be, do they have to be one of my vassals and or court? That may be the case. There you go. Convert to witchcraft. So it's a little annoying 
Oh yeah, we don't need to sway her anymore. She's already gone positive. So it's a little annoying to um, to filter that way. Which is unfortunate, because it would be great to do a bunch of witchcrafty stuff. Um, oh, will we see the um, the witchy icon for people? Oh, they're right over there! Yeah, okay. So I can just look for people who don't have the witch. That will make life a lot simpler. My grandson, King Cyborg, has an affair. I don't see what the fuss is about. It's not as if it's an unnatural thing. That's true. Now, are you... your chocolate. your chocolate. So it literally makes no difference. You're pissed that you expose a secret, but it's, it's not illegal. Oh, Monkey Biz, thank you. Should check out the new NVIDIA broadcast on the new 3000 series GPUs. Eliminates the need for green screen. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff like that. They've also got the... Um, like the sound filtering tech, which is kind of nifty. Uh, more indulgences? Yep, that's fine. Again, I don't see any reason why I would ever say no to that, unless I was specifically looking to block someone from getting piety. But that seems pretty nuts. So, oh, we can build something, Ren. Let's just let's spread the love. Yeah, you can have a forest forestry setup. That's gonna be okay. I mean, we'll make these realms in general better. Again, we don't know where we're going to end up later on. So we might be improving things that we don't actually have access to. We should deal with this Wallachia stuff, right? I mean, that's kind of poop. I mean, he's chocolate Gaelic, which is nice. I don't know if we're vassalage or anything like that. I was going to say, I think it's just a single county. Oh, he's just a like, petty king of this one place. Can I just subjugate you? Yeah, it's a thousand piety for that. Yeah, my hat is the biggest. It's the best. Well, the Pope also has a similar hat, but uh, we've taken uh, we've taken Rome from him, so you know, screw that guy. His name is Banger. Yeah. Whenever, uh, whenever uh, he's actually um, well known for his. Uh, for, he's, uh, for his love of music. In fact, he is a musician and lyricist and singer. Um, and uh, throughout the realms, bards repeat his music. They go to inns and taverns and they play his music. And you can always tell, because when, when they're playing it, you're like, that's a banger. That was a long walk for not a very good joke. That was a long walk for not a very good joke. But we got there. It's a headbanger. Woo! Woo -hoo. Yeah, we'll just clean that up because it looks stupid. I didn't want to start any more big wars uh, over here because I'm kind of eager to get to just time scaling through. Um, we're going to take one of the ones where, there we go, where the uh, the person will be pleased to get edumacated. That's going to be nice. We can call in dynasty members while we can do that. Uh, yes, indulgences, not a white piece. We've got to be careful about that. But again, yeah, it would be nice to have some sort of siege progress counter here. Just in general, we can monitor our own sieges. And also, oh my god. Now, sometimes it's the same person over and over. Yeah, see, a bunch of these are the same person. Mayor Berenger. So if I accept one, a bunch of them go away. So that's a little bit weird. And yeah, when we're at war, especially, we have to be careful that it's actually an indulgence request and not something else. No, 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 no. Epic fable of a joke. <laughs> Thought you were gonna do something like as a headbanger. Oh! This person was excommunicated for some reason. Hmm. Well, he likes me. Um, he is a chocolater. Maybe he probably dared to suggest that white chocolate was chocolate, which is of course not church canon at all. No, no, no. But he's seen the errors of his ways. All right, I, I will lift the excommunication. Just don't do it again. Okay. Uh, can I ransom someone? For a lot of money. Yeah, let's do it. Sounds great. Flog him. Uh, someone's got to ban uh, Balfuset for, for heresy in the chat. Hey, how come we're only at um, 80%? There is some of the land over there, Wallachia. That's why we don't have 100%. Although, uh, we'll probably get to 100% just by sitting around here uh, and getting ticking war score. But, oh my god, it's Arhus. We gotta go visit Cool Man Chaos! <laughs> We're coming to your house, in our house! 
Scave Rat is starting a heresy. Okay, that's okay. We'll just have an Inquisition and deal with you later. Oh, that's a neat little pop-up. I like that. Grand title. Princess, no one hears what he appears, is the jewel holder of the County of Tivoli, uh, which I currently hold. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's let's do that. Normally, I'd be transferring vassals. Uh, no one hears what I appears of my family. I'm probably going to die soon anyway. Of course, we will go ahead and grant... Oh, that's somewhat annoying. I love that it's got this idea here, but it'd be nice if it auto-picked it to transfer over because it's like, I don't know. Now I gotta look for it. I mean, it's right there, which is fine. But there you go, no one. Congratulations. And we've recently constructed some stuff there for you. Oh, the end is nigh! I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. Uh, has Duchess Seaside Sentinel gotten married yet? Well, let's see. Um, so if we were to... So, really, we only have the ability to do it in our court of our, let's say, just dynasty, more than our house, who are not married, um, who are an adult. So, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and arrange marriage for Bodum's here. Did you have someone? Did they die? They did die. Mmm. Of what? Of gout. All right. Uh, you've got lots of kids. 49. So, you're not, re not going to have any more kids. Um, like sorted by relevance. It's prioritizing. Oh my god! <laughs> the only people I can marry her to, well, it would be a betrothal. But the only people I can marry her to are to children, children that she's related to, uh, which wouldn't be very helpful. Uh, I was just gonna check the check or uncheck the checkbox where they can uh, find someone for themselves, but um. Right, I guess arrange marriage. Yeah, that's probably why, because I went arrange marriage as opposed to find spouse. Okay, that's fine. Um, so she doesn't need to marry anyone like for for baby making, because that's not going to happen anymore. Um, we'll. Uh, I don't, so it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that if it's matrilineal or not. Let's just find her someone hot. I mean, everyone deserves someone hot, right? Or interesting. Smart would be good, too. She's, what, 49? 61? I mean, it's not bad. 38 and smart? I don't know. We might want to save him to just marry to uh, to someone else. Oh, this would make her leave. And they're not going to have children, so it doesn't matter if it's matrilineal or not. Uh, oh, are the filters off? Um... I mean, the fertile being on is there, but it doesn't actually matter for this. Hmm. Maybe by, based on alliance power, because it might be relevant. I don't know. Not someone with lover's pox. You know, I'll just marry her off to this guy, because he doesn't have any genetic traits, so we're not going to be looking for a strategic, like, that kind of marriage with him. Um, with, you know, one of our people who's still fertile. So there we go. This count over here. He's got great hair. Fantastic hair. So, let's do that. And what's interesting about this, this will stop him from... Wow, he's a... He's one heckin' unit. Why does he look so big? He doesn't have, like, the giant trait or anything. Do we have polygamy? Doesn't, doesn't it look like he's already married? Does, does Insler have polygamy? Insler has polygamy! She might convert him, or he might convert her. Let's let's get her married off to a, a chocolatier. Nope, not Christianity. Chocolatism. There we go. Um, this guy. Done. Done. Whatever. I don't care anymore. <laughs> this is a long time arranging a marriage for something that doesn't matter. Okay. 
But I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know Insular had multiple lives. We'll have to give the um, the Irish playthrough at some point. First in line to inherit Ireland. Go us. Oh yeah, where's our troops? Are they still on route? Yeah. Go up to speed four. Although we don't have a lot.